Hey, what's up business builders? Winston Davis here with Move Up and uh, coming at you with our next set of videos, our value videos um, for our Facebook group here as well as YouTube. And this next four weeks, we're gonna be talking about mastering the phone interview. All right, it's a very, really the first part of your hiring process. It's the first chance you get to talk to your candidate. So we're gonna go through basically the next four weeks Everything from the beginning of the phone call through the screening questions, super detailed on that part, and then the back end of the phone call, how to maximize the end of your call so that way, one, you have more people show up, they're more excited, and you've made a good quality judgment on who's qualified and who's not. So, let's jump in. Um, week one, we're gonna start with the intro, setting the stage, and basically your first question, all right? When I start off on the phone, when I'm phone interviewing, I recommend whoever's doing this in your office that you should you should have a script for this stuff um, you should have a phone interview script now as they get better you can uh, they may not have to sound you know like a robot saying it word for word and you don't want them to sound like a robot but you need to have a framework you need to have a checklist of questions you need to have a system for your phone interview so I'll start off and I'll just say Hey, this is Winston with Davis Moving and Storage calling for Thomas, right? Yeah, this is Thomas. Hey, Thomas, I'm just getting back to you. I'm the hiring manager with Davis Moving and Storage. You would shown interest in a job position uh, with us on our team. Just wanted to chat for five to 10 minutes. Are you free? And so that might be how I start. You know, I always personally like asking, hey, do you have five or 10 minutes? Because um, you might be calling at... 10 a.m. in the morning or 2 p.m. in the afternoon. And if it's a good candidate, they probably already have a job. So um, if they seriously can't talk, then say, okay, not a problem. What time can I, can, will you be available today? And then give them a call back. I'm not gonna like expect that person to drop everything they're doing, right? Some of this, like them recognizing who you are, especially with movers and drivers, you may call someone, they don't have your phone number. So they're like, who the heck are you? And they don't care. So they might have forgotten they applied to your job. They may have, it didn't even cross their mind. The quicker you can get to them, calling them back from when they apply, the better, the, the more likely it is that they are gonna recognize your company name. But again, if, if they just applied, you know, on, online, they could have applied to seven other companies. So at that moment in time, your company may not have stand, you know, stood out that well. So um, don't be like put off if they don't, you know, they don't remember you um, right away. Most, the average applicant who applies online applies to, to seven other companies. So once I get through kind of that beginning and they're like, yeah, I'm free, I'll say, okay, great. And, and this is where I'm gonna set the stage. So I'm kind of setting the expectation for the call. There's two different skill sets you want to get really good at when you phone interview. One is going to be your posture and positioning. So that's having that control as an interviewer and leading the conversation. Generally, the person asking the questions is the one in control and, and, and you wanna stay in that driver's seat. Now, the other thing, the other skill you wanna get really good at is connecting and selling the opportunity. So uh, what we call it move up is, uh, we call it uh, making an Insta friend. So you have a very short window to make a connection and so you want to build some rapport, you want to qualify them, and then you want to make sure that, hey, they're super excited about this opportunity. So when I go to set the stage, I'm, co I'm covering a few things. One, uh, what you're going to talk about, right? How long, and then what's going to happen after this call. So that may sound something like this. Say, Thomas, so, so here's what we're going to do. Uh, today's just a conversation, okay? I'm not going to drill you with a thousand questions. Um, I totally just want to get to know you. And if this goes well, the next step after this would be setting you up for an in-person interview to come into our warehouse and chat with some of some of our uh, team members. And, and you can frame this stuff however you guys do it. But uh, along with that, I'll say, and this is going to be a short call. We might be five to 10 minutes. Okay. Does that sound fair to you? I'll get a verbal confirmation. I've set the stage. I'm leading the conversation. Uh, I've taken control right away because what you don't want to have happen is 
very quickly your candidate flips the script and now they're like hitting you with a bunch of questions. And now they're asking questions and you're the one answering and they're driving the conversation. So from the very beginning, you have to set the stage and you've got to take that ownership of the call and lead that conversation. From there, I'm gonna ask my first question. And some people have different opinions on this. I personally do wanna build some connection. And the best question to ask to start, to me it has always been, so Thomas, why are you looking for a new job, man? Like what's going on? And I personally, my style, I say it like that. That's my style. I try to be relaxed, I try to be fun, and um, I wanna build some rapport. So I say, well Thomas, man, why are you looking for a new job? What, you don't like where you are now or whatever? And so then you hear their story. Okay, so at that point, I'm gonna kind of shut up and listen, and I'm taking notes. This is a huge information gathering stage. They're gonna tell you almost uh, half of what you need to know, because they're gonna tell you about whether they're working currently or not, why they left their, their last job if they left, or why they're not happy at the current place. And all of that information is super critical for you to make a decision of, okay, is this a legitimate person I would want on my team? Like, why are they leaving their last job? How long were they at their last job? Um, how long have they been unemployed? All of these things are major factors in deciding if this is a good fit and a good person to move forward with. So that's the, the, the beginning of the phone call. Next week, we're gonna go into your, the very like core initial screening questions, the ones that would most likely DQ someone. And then from there, some, some deeper level questions. And then the fourth week, we're gonna talk about the back end of that call, how to make the judgment, how to hard set the appointment so they have a higher chance of showing up as well as selling the opportunity at the end of the call so they feel super motivated and excited to chat with you and your team. So that's it today. Again, recap, intro, okay, how to properly intro, two, setting the stage, uh, making sure you have control of the call, and three, that first question, hey, why are you looking for a new job? What's going on? So again, you have to have a system, you have to have some scripts, you have to have a framework. If you want to make this a really uh, a solid part in your business, that is the key. So we will see you guys on the next video and go crush it. Peace.